Hey everyone, this week on Should I Fly It, I'm going to be covering probably the next list that is going to be the Scourge of X-Wing, the Initiative 7 Dash Double Tap list, so let's get right into it. I played against this list at um, the Battle of Alberta, and um, I really did a bad job, it was... Um, pretty brutal. It does what it does and it does it really really well. So let's get into it and how it works and why it functions. So this is probably the closest we've seen so far to the old Dangaroo style list. Uh, there's a couple different ways of running it. As long as you can pass Rock's um, Initiative 7 shot to dash, that's the important factor. I've gone for um, an even more supportive Rock here. We're giving him Squad Leader to give him Tactical Officer so you can coordinate all of those eggs into a dash basket. But um, here we go. It is Rock Garnet with Moldy Crow, Squad Leader, Tactical Officer. He comes in at 56 points, gives you access to a white coordinate. The uh, Moldy Crow, um, three red dice um, primary firing arc and obviously still the two dice turret and it's pretty good it's a, it's a decent ship initiative four doesn't do anything bad <laughs> you know it, it's interesting it's good then we get to the money in the list and that's dash render coming in at 137 points initiative five uh, the outrider title so he uh, denies shot, uh, denies the extra dice for being obstructed, and trick shocks synergizes pretty well. You're gonna be uh, messing around with obstacles anyway, being that it's dash. So you ignore them for moving. You don't give extra dice when you shoot through them, and you gain an extra dice. So pretty nasty. Uh, perceptive co-pilot because we're gonna be double tapping here, so we really want those double focus tokens. Then we have Han Solo Gunner, and uh, during the engagement phase at Initiative 7, you may perform a turreted arc attack. You cannot attack from that turreted arc again this round. But luckily, you being the one in control of both of these abilities when they trigger, get to choose the order. So you rock Garnet to make dash Initiative 7 in the engagement phase, then you get to the Initiative 7 step you get to choose to shoot with Dash at Initiative 7, and then you can shoot with Han at Initiative 7. You can't perform an attack out of that arc again, but you've already attacked already, so you're basically smashing someone with four to five dice at, uh, at Initiative 7. And yeah, it's pretty good. Perceptive Cold Pilot's giving you focuses on both of those shots, and um, you can coordinate to get a target lock. Um, I mean, if you need to, you can coordinate to rotate the turret, you can coordinate to give him the focus and then maybe barrel roll later. There's loads of options, what you can do, but it's pretty reliable. This this version of a list has got a seven point bid as well, so it helps you deal with those uh, multitude of initiative five pilots that are in there and make sure you're uh, moving last for the re to take advantage of a repositioning on dash and yeah it, it hurts it hits like a truck um weaknesses i'm not a hundred percent sure yet basically you can outplay the list if you can approach from different vectors yeah he's going to double tap something but as long as you're not pushing your entire list in from one vector he can't if he kills one ship he can't just move on to the next so you've got to try and play around with that um i feel like um anything where you're gonna have variance in your agility so like three agility ships might stand up a little bit better especially like this is gonna crush any red line type builds where you're um you're going to be shooting pretty early. If you can take out the asteroid to deny the trick shot combo, it's going to be pretty good. Uh, so, like, seismic bombs will work well against it, but not. it's not going to do the damage quickly. You need to really be able to weather that storm, and that's the main thing we're seeing. So, uh, reinforce is strong against it, because you're going to be getting a lot of shots coming in at you but you need to be able to keep up that damage output. And yeah, I <laughs> outside of that, 
initiative's really important. You want to be able to move after dash to stay inside his donut hole just so that you can uh, not take the, uh, the massive shots. Taking him down to three dice is a good tactic, but it's a really strong list. I spoke about it on um, the Lack of Focus podcast about a month ago, six weeks ago, something like that. And um, it's starting to catch on now, so I thought I'd do this video and, um, yeah, spread the love, I suppose. It's uh, it's brutal. You'll definitely enjoy um, winning games with it, whether you, uh, you know, were always a Dash fan or jumping on the bandwagon. I don't know. But there you go. That is the Gosh Darn It, It's Dash and Rock Garnet. Um, it's pretty brutal um, firing, especially if you get the full um, five dice trick shot, range two shots off of people, rolling ten dice when they're not getting any bonuses really, really hurts. If you enjoy the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up on the video, leave any comments if you can think of any uh, any changes you'd make. Do you prefer uh, getting like different things with rock so you you can have maybe a missile or uh, bombs on well um debris clouds with dash or um do you think the bids as important as i do i don't know let me know what you think and thanks for watching everyone i'll see you on the next one